Today is Wednesday, it's August 9th, 2017. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Hello, we're in the seven o'clock hour this morning. As you can see behind me here, we do have some, some overcast skies across the Wayne County area back in here, uh, over, over Wayne County, overcast, cloudy skies. We might see a hint of sunshine maybe a little later on this morning. It, uh, the, the clouds are gonna be uh, thinning, uh, so we may see some sunshine here. If you wanna see more sun, you're gonna have to go a little bit further to the west up around the Raleigh-Durham area this morning. But here's what we have for Wayne County this morning. Let's take a look at the current conditions. Right now we're at 72 degrees in Wayne County, 72 overcast skies, lots of clouds. And again, that uh, as the sun uh, rises this morning, that cloud cover will be burning off and moving away. But we're still gonna be mostly cloudy today or we'll just say cloudy, but 72 right now, and the dew point is up around 72 as well, so it's very muggy out there. Uh, later today, isolated showers are possible, possible, but only a 20% chance. So the chance that you'll get rain today is slim, although you may. Isolated showers is what it's calling for. Chance 20%. Today's high near 82 degrees, 82, with a breeze from the northeast at up to 9 miles an hour. Now, overnight tonight, we have a slight chance of a shower. Uh, slight chance again, that's a 20% chance. Uh, low tonight near 70 degrees, 70 degrees overnight. Uh, breeze out of the east at around six and the chance of rain again, 20%. For tomorrow, a little better chance of rain, about a 30% chance of rain, but we have a slight chance of a shower and then a better chance of a shower after three o'clock, possibly even a thunderstorm after three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow's high near 84 degrees. A uh, breeze from the northeast at around five miles per hour will calm later on in the day and a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Right now we have 72 degrees in Wayne County. Good morning. I know it does look a little dim back there. Let's back up some, see if we can brighten up the background. There we go. Looking out over the city of Goldsboro there. Well, today is Wednesday, August 9th. We're in the middle of the week, so what's special about today? I'm glad you asked. Today is the night that today, and you won't be able to see this tonight, but the Perseid meteor shower is underway now for the next three or four days, now through the 13th. Today is also Veep Day, I presume as Vice President or VP Day, Veep Day. Today is Paul, <coughs> excuse me, Paul Bunyan Day. What was Paul Bunyan's pet's name and what color was it? Well, it was blue and it was an ox and it was named Babe. There you go, Paul Bunyan. And uh, um, that's also... Uh, uh, today, tomorrow, February 12th as well, for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, here's today's trivia question. Okay? Today's trivia question. Actually, this was yesterday's, but uh, I couldn't find it yesterday. Well, here you go. It's all about food. Mm. One of my favorite uh, food groups is food. What has more protein than any other cereal grain, more iron than eggs or beef, more fiber than pretzels or potato chips. That's a strange combination, isn't it? Cereal grain, roast beef, eggs, pretzels, and potato chips. What has more protein? Now, there may be more than one right answer, but I'm looking for something very specific here. More protein than cereal grain, more iron than eggs and roast beef. What has more fiber than pretzels and potato chips? That's what I'm looking for. It is one of my favorites. Anyway, uh, yesterday the Chick-fil-A school supply drive was to be held. It was canceled. They were afraid of inclement weather because it was going to be taking place outside the restaurant. Due to the possibility of inclement weather, the school supply drive to be held yesterday uh, at Goldsboro's Chick-fil-A has been canceled. They are going to reschedule at a later date, and we'll pass along that date to you as soon as we get it. Uh, this weekend at the Wayne County Museum, there's going to be a present, uh, there's going to be a stage production uh, called Willowdale, Past Meets Present. Now, past is a little play on words there, P-A-S-S-E-D. Willowdale, Past Meets Present stage production. It's an original play put on by the Wayne County Historical Association and Museum. Uh, it's an entertaining narrative highlighting some of the many residents, if you want to call them that, of the local Willowdale Cemetery. That should be pretty interesting. You'll be surprised at actually who is buried there and even more intrigued by the stories they have to share. Now this is true, this Willowdale Cemetery is certainly an, an, an iconic cemetery here in the Wayne County area. It's been around a long time and there's some interesting people laid to rest there. Now this is um, this Friday and Saturday, August 11th and 12th, right? 
Yes, this Friday and Saturday, August 11th and 12th at 7 o'clock. And then on the 13th, Sunday, with a 3 o'clock matinee, 3 p.m. matinee. This is at the Wayne County Museum. Tickets are $15 for adults. If you're a museum member, a Wayne County Historical Association member, museum member, it's only $12. And children 12 and under get in for 6 bucks. Uh, if you want to purchase tickets or get more information, you can go online to waynemuseum.org. Waynemuseum.org. All right. The play will be adapted to a cemetery tour, by the way, October 13th, 14th, 20th, and 21st. Ticket prices will be the same at that time. All right. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you ever think about becoming a master gardener with well, the Wayne County Cooperative Extension Services offering this to you? to become a Master Gardener a Volunteer. And all you got to do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, and do it, do it, do it. All you got to do is go to their, well, let's see. I was going to say go to the website, but it's kind of long. All you have to do is call them. Call them and ask for Jessica, and Jessica can tell you what you got to do. She can point you to the place online where you go and get information about what is a Master Gardener. There it is right there. Can you read that? You can't read that. Of course not. <laughs> But she, there's, also, there's also a schedule of what the volunteer, uh, Master Gardener volunteers will be doing. For instance, in September, September 7th, they will have their first uh, uh, meeting. That will be from 9 until noon on September 7th. That's a Thursday, 9 till noon with orientation and volunteering. And then on September 11th, they'll go over gardening basics and design. Gardening basics and design. September 14th, they'll talk about soils and composting. And it goes on with so many different topics here, and it goes all the way through November, these classes will, and they're on Mondays and Thursdays, <coughs> and uh, all you have to do is go online and, and uh, print out this volunteer application and then take it by the Master Gardener office there at the Cooperative Extension office, uh, uh, or hand it to Jessica, okay? There you go. If you have any questions, here's the number, 919-731-1520, 919-731-1520. Now, Goldsboro Hawks having their meeting uh, this Saturday at Herman Park, Goldsboro Hawks is a semi-pro football team here in Goldsboro, Wayne County. They love to see if you want to be a part of it. They're looking for, they're looking for anybody who wants to be a part of this. Sponsors, they're looking for players, they're looking for anybody who wants to be a part of the Goldsboro Hawks semi-pro football team. Herman Park this Saturday, 3 p.m. The Goldsboro Family Y after school program is underway on August 28th. August 28th, and it goes all the way through June 8th of next year. And... The after-school program runs from 2.30 in the afternoon till 6 p.m. Monday through Friday at the Goldsboro Family Y. You get more information by calling a number, and that number is not the Y number. The number is 919-947-0124. And just as a programming note, in case you missed it, we have a brand new cooking program on. Uh, Michelle Estrada of the Goldsboro and Wayne County Cooperative Extension Service, Cold, uh, the uh, Wayne County Cooperative Extension Service, she and I, uh, we cooked up a new one, and it's, uh, it'll run this morning at 11 o'clock. It ran yesterday, runs at 11 o'clock, and then it'll run again, it repeats uh, as it does every day, at 6 p.m. So the cooking show runs at 11 a.m., and then it repeats at 6 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday, okay? And every day is a different one. Sometimes it's a repeat, but today is one we just finished. And I think you'll enjoy it. It's good. Yeah. She is very, she's, she's very talented. Very talented. Okay, what else do we have here? Here's the answer. Here's the answer to today's trivia question. Here you go. What was the question? What, what, what has more protein than any other cereal grain? That's a clue. It has more iron than eggs or roast beef. It has more fiber than pretzels or potato chips. Well, why would you include pretzels and potato chips? Because we're talking about a kind of a fun sort of a thing. It is a, uh, according to a book written by a fellow by the name of Lexi Jacobs, or it could be a lady, Lexi Jacobs, The History of Popcorn. That's it. Popcorn has more protein than any other cereal grain. How about that? More iron than eggs. I find that surprising. And roast beef. Surprising. Anyway, that's the answer to today's trivia question. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy the day because it's going to be the nicest day this week as far as rain is concerned. Okay, very little chance of rain. And even though we might see a little bit of sunshine a little later on, there's always that 20% chance. 
Well, we're going to get something, so take an umbrella with you anyway, okay? Just to be on the safe side. And uh, always drive carefully, of course. Please wear your seat belt, and we'll be back in here tomorrow morning in the 7 o'clock hour. And by the way, big change is coming back to the morning show beginning in September. We'll have that for you in September. I'm just teasing you to be sure that you're watching, all right? And I appreciate very much your watching, I do. We try to keep you informed what's going on here in Wayne County. All right, so for Bria McCoy and for Pat Garner, I'm Wayne Alley, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Mm -hmm.